Don't say I didn't warn you. That I wasn't expecting an announcement so soon after the reveal. Okay, so for, for that, in that instance, I do believe that if they had this whole focus testing group and they wanted to say that the fans get to have their input in this game, I figured they would show this eventually. It was only a matter of time. Just yeah. once again, I I didn't think people would see gameplay this soon. I thought that would be for later, but I guess not. They showed gameplay and that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Even though how early, early it was, it was still really cool. Yeah, the, yeah. the emphasis on the early part because it's, it's good, definitely, but... They definitely need more refinement with the targeting and how the dismemberment works. Man, that's like one of the main focal points they were talking I mean, that, about. That's gonna come, you know, because uh, again, this is like literally pretty as pretty can get. So like, you know, yeah. I'm not gonna criticize yeah. what we saw because you know, is that uh, uh, yeah, you know, people will do it. This is how people are, and they did it in the Twitch chat, which is stupid. Fuck them. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, fuck them. There you go. I didn't, I didn't even read the Twitch checks. I was only focused on the fucking video the itself. Uh, yeah. The the shit I saw was graphics bad, which is, I don't, you must have eyeballs up your ass because I don't think the graphics. It looks even better than the original, in my opinion. Nice. Um, that's a fact. It does look better. Yeah. Even as a pre-alpha stage. Yeah. That's 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 what a lot of people don't understand is that when we were being shown the footage, it said. Um, oh crap, what was the exact terminology? Uh, early pre-production development build, so they're yeah. still in like alpha. They've not even gotten on... No, they're not even in alpha. It's pre-alpha. No, they're not even in alpha. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's yeah, a word this thing. Is, this is very... Early, like, right? They're in like the right. earliest stages of like yeah. the project. There's still. a long way to go. Like People that are thinking, oh, we're seeing it, we'll be seeing it by like Christmas. Like Maybe Christmas next year if you're lucky. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is coming out a lot sooner than what most people would think because they're using legendary assets from the original game, which is super cool. Yeah, yeah there's I mean, good almost there. Start point, uh, you know. I mean, it's been I think it's been 13 it, years, but like, I mean, wouldn't it makes logical sense to do this? To be honest, like, no, I think the main focal point they said they're using legendary assets is because they want to remodel the entire Ushi uh, uh, Ishimura to be one long stretch. Of a game, basically. Well, I suspect I might be one of the probably least excited people that are sitting here at the moment. Like, I, I watched the whole thing. Right, it doesn't help that I'm not 100% moving. But to me, it felt like they're taking Dead Space 1. They're taking the quality of life changes that from two, like, you know, obviously the, the jet and that sort of thing, bring back to one, which is fine. That's the correct thing to do. Um, putting in some voices, giving it a graphical uptake, and kind of more or less rocking and rolling with that. Like, it's good, and the changes they're looking to make are fine, but I, f I don't know. I I think I also had an issue as well with, like, watching the stream. Uh, like, the, the guy, I can't think of his name, he had a grin on his face that was so large. I think you could have showed him anything and he would have popped for it. Um, and I think that is a slight danger of this because Dead Space is what it is to a lot of people. I think people want to be hyped for it to the point where you are in danger of it clouding a little bit. Um, mm. And as I'm not as religiously invested, I only played Dead Space 1 and 2 like last year or whenever it was. I think it was earlier this year. Earlier this year. The beginning earlier of this year, this year, this year almost. This year. You know, and I, I enjoyed my time. You know, I enjoyed one. I thought it was good. Dead Space 2, I thought was a very uneven game, personally. Uh, it The second half I thought was fantastic, but the first half was not for me at all. And yeah, it's great. You know, obviously they're going to have Gunner back. That's fine. I think they have to. I mean, obviously he's the only person that can do it, but um, I know there'll be some... It's like the world of uh, Resident Evil will say some people say, "Oh, he didn't speak the first one. He can't speak now." That's a complete nonsense. Like you... they're already gonna be. Oh, right, that's a bunch of yes too, because Gunner did voice him in um in the first game, just he didn't have yeah, dialogue. Yeah, but obviously not to any like meaningful extent as such. Yeah, that's so, that's um... the thing. Like every time you do a remake, each and every single time, you're not gonna please everybody. You can make a change here for the better. It could be pertinent to the actual story, and they could say we're not gonna change anything. That was the main phrase they used. Like, we're going to keep the story 
relatively intact but we're gonna like add on to it we're gonna add on lore from death space to extraction all the other games etc this is probably going to be fundamental and core to the game in terms of storytelling yet you're not going to please everybody by doing it because there's going to be people that say well i i don't want this stuff i want the core death space experience from the first one and at that point i'm like well just play the first one if you feel that way because yeah. there's yeah. nothing wrong with change for the better I mean, I think mm -hmm. as far as a as a core experience, I think that's going to happen anyway, simply because yeah. of like they obviously their goal is to try and you know they talk about a lot. They want to capture the feel of what the original game was, which is a difficult ask because it's like even when it was posed and like how do you you know you're, you're trying to capture the the emotions and feelings of a quote perfect game unquote, which the game wasn't. Um, let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves. It was very good um but that's a difficult ask and like yeah you're gonna upgrade the tap graphics add in some extra bits and pieces you've now got a story that's built around that you can tie in to make it more relevant and make more logical sense um but i don't know i feel like i should be more excited for it and i'm unable to be so um which probably puts me as the outlier but i think it's not without a little bit of cause yes don't worry uh, thank you uh, you're like what the new kid of the block, so I could kind of understand that. Much. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, the argument, I mean, <laughs> I played it more pretty recently, so in theory, yeah, that's I mean, what I mean. I should, I should attach it more. I would have thought. I wasn't there for the heyday, but like, I've, it's not like it's been ten years since I've touched Dead Space. Like, it was this year, so it's pretty recent in my mind. And it's like, yeah, it's great. It's going to come out. I think it'll be. I think it'll be a pretty good game. But I think it's very easy to overblow the hype here. Just, you know, I think people should exercise a bit of caution with that until we see a little bit more kind of like fundamentals and meat of what we're actually going to be getting. From what I saw, all right, all right. It, it's super early, so it's it's not exactly. bad. Also, go ahead, Brenda. Okay, I, I agree with that, though. But at the same time, though, if the developers going to keep constantly give us updates like this on a regular basis, then, well, they're pretty much setting the hype level themselves. Yeah, and that's so. what they should do, and that's what they need to do. They need to continue to communicate with their their, their audience that they're so much, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, suggesting, obviously saying that they're including in every mm -hmm. step of the process and having say on the game, bits and pieces like that. Obviously, that means they have to communicate a lot, and if they don't, then yeah. they're going to get skewered for that. But I... I imagine they will. Um, I think it'd be a, a enormous faux pas for them not to do so. Um, and again, the game was made what thirteen years ago or something like that. That's yes. a long time. Two thousand eight and development started in two thousand six. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a that was... long, long time. And this has come so far out of nowhere, like that. They have to ride the nostalgia wave, you know, and that's what mm -hmm. it is at the moment. And that's fine. People want to do that. It's powerful. It's enjoyable. It's been a shitty eighteen months, so great. But, um, you know, I just think from a, from what we've seen, I'm not getting ahead of myself here. Like, I think it'd be really good, probably. But, like, I'm not sitting here, like, creaming myself or anything like that on a few graphical images and some shredding things. Like, there's got to be more to it than that. But I, think our, I think our biggest reaction was just Gunner Wright appearing on the show. Yeah, well, mostly. Yeah. Hey, I mean, it's, yeah, but it's, it's, it's. It's like basically fan service, that isn't it? Really? That is pretty much fan service. Much and he says one of his best lines too, which is great. I but was um, cringingly set up, but uh, uh, that's the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll give them credit. It is a much better line of communication than something like RE2, where it's like we're gonna show you that we're gonna do it. We do it, and then it's like three years and no updates whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, that's called announcing our project too early. Yep. Like, if they do more stuff like what like Capcom does with like Monster Hunter or Street Fighter Five at this point, it'd be pretty cool. Okay, right, like imagine if they didn't announce Resident Evil Two remakes was being a thing, right? And then they announced it that um E three twenty nineteen. You know how big the hype would have been? Like much bigger than it probably would have been. <laughs> yeah. I mean I would say give or take it'd be half and half. Like you wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the best part though. Like, you not know it's gonna happen. And yeah. then seeing the trailer, like, shoot, you know, you know how explosive that will be. Yeah, but I guess like the the initial hype that dies down and people are like all like hope all hope is lost is like I think a more of a bigger uptake reaction than like unexpected, you know? No. 
Uh, how do people feel about the new dismemberment since that was like featured and they were showing uh, off that the skin can come off now and the bones can be shown? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, like, that's got, cool. Like, got, <laughs> yeah, you got a far more powerful engine. You can do this sort of thing. Yeah. And they've always, to me, they've always wanted to push. It's not just an action shooter. They, they, it's trying to have little kind of a methodicalness to Dead Space, which I think does permeate a lot of the series. And it's just another example of them wanting to do that. Which makes sense, you know, that's mm -hmm. one of your selling points, you know, that you can rip these guys apart. And if you can do it in a fancy way and kind of make it seem much more strategic and cooler, then great. Um, I imagine in principle, it's not going to be too much different from just, you know, get a pulse rifle and go to war, basically. But, you know, the novelty's there. But some of it's good in this game, because it was shit in the first game. Yeah, it's... The original. Uh... I, still, I still used it a hell of a lot in my, in, in, in my run. I struggled with some of the weapons. Some of them just didn't work. Yeah, the pulse me. rifle is just totally weak. Solid. It's a very weak gun, in my opinion. I... <laughs> but... Weak, but it's still fun to use. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I mean, Flamethrower is mastery, so we already said that last time. Uh, They did mention that apparently there's a new, like, very precise moment where you have to shoot the limb exactly to make it come off um the so joint you, yeah the joint itself uh this time which is pretty cool and i i really like that stuff uh the skin can sort of flay around and they talked about how the clothes can break apart so it's all just attention to detail and i love that attention to detail mm -hmm. and stuff like this especially when uh you could just blow off someone's head with a shotgun at re2 and their whole face will like flay off that was great um, no. Alright, that's cool now, but here's one thing though. Uh -huh. I hope that's not too intrusive though, because um, if I got precisely shoot a, um the joint just to shoot them the limb off, then I hope that's not a um that would not be a big problem later in the gameplay. Okay, so yeah, that, I what? think I think that is a a reasonable concern. You do risk gimmicking your own system, which yeah. has proven to work pretty well. So again, it's nice. My but you slight. Don't really the corners here. Yeah, my slight counterpoint to that though is that some enemies that might be a little bit more beneficial because I hate shooting the stubby legs of those pregnant creatures and then I miss and all of a sudden here come our babies and I'm just I'm just fucked over. So that can probably help in the long run. We have to see how it works. It just depends on how good the aiming is. Well, that's kind of different though because um if regardless we do to the um thing like she's going to spill out her like babies right now is it implement like a new vital system where you could prevent stuff like that for certain enemy types and that's you no know, that'd be cool actually no they it's just... also possible they might not have such a precise system for every single enemy you fight a couple they might just re kind of keep to the sort of the older ways because it might just prove too complicated and just too frustratingly annoying to be that precise in, in a chaotic situation yeah, yeah. i don't know I, I sort of disagree that is vastly different because, I mean, if you do enough... It, it seems like from the gameplay alone, if you do enough damage, then it comes off anyway. And yes. if you keep shooting the enemy to death, then they're just going to break apart into like a million pieces. So they yeah. said they're still testing it and working on it, but from what I've seen, if they take way too much damage, then they're pretty much just dead on the spot. Yeah. So it's at the end of the day, I mean... Cut off your limbs is still going to be synonymous with the game, but it's also going to be like those tropes in there that come back from the original game since they built on it, and I think that's pretty fantastic, honestly. Yeah, so I mean, the game's not of what they had. It's like uh, in them, it's an upgrade on what the system was. I mean, yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, it's not done yet, so I, you know, got plenty of time yeah. to see you exactly. Oh, uh, what else did they show? Let me see. They show uh, zero environments. They showed, yeah, the environments. I was just gonna say that's right. a point. They look amazing. Like I, I think this is what I would want from a remake, which is nothing is too extremely changed. But I, I noticed that Isaac is like buff. This dude's like bigger now. Like what's going on there? Yeah, this might be final. This might be final level fair. armor. Yeah. In, in the original Dead Space, when he was in the level 5 suit, he was pretty buff. Yeah, this might be a level 5 suit here. They probably haven't done on the like uh, level tier three. system. I think we noticed noted that it looked like the level 4 suit, though, from the face. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, if they've given him a couple extra inches of the shoulders, then, you know, makes sense. I mean, I would do that, probably. 
He's a space oh. engineer. He's been lived in some leaks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's meant to you know, be the, sort of the rough and tumble and obviously pretty kind of grunty. I mean, yeah. Nah, he's a nerd. Considering that he gets, because then he gets dumped things to death, you know, and break the limbs off that way, you know. Yeah, he should be, you know, pretty beefy in some regards. Exactly. I mean, in Death Space 1, when, like, you're in the first few suits, he looks pretty scrawny. Like if you if you look at him until you get the yeah. armor plates is when he starts looking more bulkier. That's just because the armor. Well, that's is there. the suit more so than him. Yeah, that's why I was saying the armor starts making him look bulky. So they actually make him more like physically his physique higher. I wouldn't mind that because it just makes more sense. Yeah. I also Somewhere noticed walking around the corner. Oh, sorry, was it? Uh, also noticed in the gameplay. Um, "Quote unquote gameplay that he was also more fluid with him, with his movements. Not like he's bulky, but he's not bulky. If you know what I mean. He's not slowed by his size type no. of deal. Although like, he's, he's a space engineer, he knows what risks come with being slow in a like meteor field environment. So it, it, I like I like where they're going with that." Although, I'm glad you said that too, though, because, um, and, like, going from one to two, though, it's quite noticeable that Isaac is, like, better at, um, managing himself during, like, a fight, like, A-man shooting, all that stuff, compared to what he was in Dead Space 1. Now, that could be just, like, you know, you know, a sequel doing its natural thing and improve on the original, right? But yeah. it kind of fits that Isaac may be a little loose on how to, you know, manage certain things during a, um, fight, a firefight, as you will. I mean, mm -hmm. it, was, it was even mentioned in the first chapter of Dead Space 2 when Dana said to him, cut off the limbs, and Isaac replied, I've had a lot of practice. So he, he knows. It's been two years since the original incident, but it's like they, they've, they've dropped that incident in there saying, OK, this is why he's so good at it compared to the original. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... And I'm just trying to like recall a lot of what they were like talking about. Like I like how they're trying to go for the focus of going more of the like going back to the roots and getting more into the horror aspects. Like mm -hmm. I'm thinking more on that. Like if they're going for more hot horror, I think what they're meaning is more the horror of the environments more than just the creatures encounters you face. That which... fog was beautiful. Oh yeah, the fog that was great. I like that. Yeah, it, it looks great, but I mean, it, it, it should do. It'd be, a, it'd be a crime if it didn't look great. I mean, it's 2021. Like, gaming has come on graphically so far since, like, you know, the early 2000s. Like, it, it's it's a completely different world. Um, you know, you look at titles, you know, obviously, like Resident Evil Village and that sort of thing coming up. Like, it would be, like, a nonsense if it didn't look good. Like it, it mm -hmm. should do, and it will, and I think it'll look fantastic. And there'll be there'll be gratuitous shots of outer space with like stars and nebula spread oh, around, no. <laughs> and you know there's there's tons of scope to have lots of glorious shots here. And I think it'll it'll definitely look the part, but it should and, do. If it didn't. That'd be a problem. And honestly, the it's the frost uh, the frostbite engine, which is insane to me that it could produce like these. I would say it's insane to me to, that it produces these visuals, but like for like the Dead Space game as it is, the Frostbite engine, like I just want to see what kind of gore and what kind of like environments that like the blood and guts and just grittiness of the game has to offer. Well, they, they the kind of showed it a little bit with the uh, Necromorph model, so to speak, with the organs and everything. A lot more detail. Obviously, we, we talked about that earlier, but still, I, I do want to see how that sort of affects the environment. And I want to see how that also kind of like changes things within like shooting and uh, what kind of graphical detail is going to uh, show from the guns. They said something about the Necromorphs uh, being able to be burnt. And now the fire yes. travels through the body. So that's something that's going to happen in this remake. That's pretty cool. Because I, I think, and this is another point, when they showed, like, the damage done, I think they had a cube go over the Slash's yeah. head, and it showed the flesh melt away. It was, like, the battle damage that they were taking, mm. just yeah. showing off, like, all the individual, like, specs of each creature is, like, its own, like, physical object, and if you hit it, yeah. it's completely wiped. I was like, oh my god, that's great. One, one thing that I do hope that they include and sort of like a crit criticism for like the free games and i know with the engines they had at the time 
is the standard slasher it's sort of divided into sort of six parts you have the arms the legs and the head and you can't really do much with that i would love if they could do like gibbing if, if that's the correct word where yes. a full blast contact like a full shot from a contact beam should rip that bastard apart absolutely um, just to note that, um, if you go back to the video when they used the, uh, the quote unquote pulse rifle, I saw holes being blown inside of the necromorph. Like there was chunks of it missing from its body, it, like Gibbs actually coming off. Oh, like, wow. because, yeah. Like if you go back to it, you can actually, if you you can see like the, not only like you think like, oh, you see the arms, the legs start blown off as like, natural, but I saw the stomach actually being ripped open. Like you could see through it. Or yes, of it was falling off. What, like Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake got wrong, I think, is that you could have a magnum and a shotgun to the zombie's head. It obliterates it completely. But if you have a rocket launcher, it just mildly chars them. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, what stuff is inconsistent, like, yeah. Like, like, what are you going to do the tyrant to the zombies where you just blow them in half and just guts fall all over the place? All right, mm. you know what I want? I want cool. more upgraded weapons to show more of this engine being showcased. So if I, like, upgrade my plasma cutter to, like, level 5 or something or get all the news, then I want to see, like, all this stuff interact with, like, the gunshots and I'm clearly mm -hmm. doing, like, some more severe damage than what I did before where it's, like, a pea shooter. That's what I want. Yeah. Um. I mean, the first and second game had it to where when you fully upgraded it, it changed the plasma cutter's bolt to gold instead of like the natural blue. Mm. Which was I thought, there? Which is alt fire in Death Space One or no? Yes, yes. there was. was. It's, okay. It's just half the weapons alt fire was kind of trash. Ooh. Yeah. It was, it was it was it was varied. Yeah, the pulse rifle was very good. It, sadly, the pulse rifle was like, oh, I'm just gonna. Oh, all the ammo's gone, and it just mostly did body shots. Great. And then Death Space 2 was like, oh, we're going to make it a grenade launcher, and it's one of the strongest things in the game when you have it upgraded. And you're like, holy shit. Mm. You can take out hordes with it, and it only costs you 25 rounds. It's super good. One thing, one thing I will say, that when it comes to the full release, achievements-wise... One thing that I'm sort of niffed about with Dead Space 3 is, like, I like a hard game. Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2, I've completely unlocked every achievement. So that means hardcore and zealot and hard on Dead Space 1. Mm -hmm. You're the, insane. Amount of, the amount of difficulty levels on Dead Space 3, it's sort of like... I, I can replay the game, but just for, like, those achievements, it's sort of like, you know, kicking the teeth. I hope they don't bring that over to the remake. Uh, you're talking about where if you die, you have to restart the entire game. Yeah, but I don't. I don't mind that if, if they're gonna if they're gonna bring hardcore mode to the remake, brilliant. But let that be the hardest difficulty. Don't have yeah, extra I mean, hard mode modes. Mm. I mean, like what I meant by that was that I didn't mind the hardcore where you saved three times. That was perfect. But when you oh, played yeah. the Dead Space Three, you can save as many times as you want. But if you die, it deletes your save. I was like. That's kind of dumb, because no. there's a lot of insta-kill bits that are pretty buggy and glitchy, where if the game isn't fair to you, you're going to die, no matter what. Oh, oh. that's horrible. I hate that. I remember yeah. people actually didn't like that that uh three saves thing. Uh, So they actually... I love the three saves. Like, I, I think is great I, Apple... I don't. Yeah, I, I think for some people it's great ample challenge, but for others it's like I just don't want to do this. So I, know, I, 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 I get the gods. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Let's finish. In regards to like the free save on the original consoles, PS3 and Xbox 360, because I, I I'm a avid Xbox game. I've always had an Xbox. I got away with it a little bit because if I could get to chapter seven without using any of my saves. It would automatically give me a checkpoint when I had to switch to disc two. Interesting. So you could cheese it. I didn't know that. Literally. And so I, I died so many times getting up to chapter seven. So I knew my route. I knew what I had to do, this, that, the other. And then when I died past chapter seven, I was like, okay, I've, I've, I, I know what diff I know what parts are difficult. I know where I need to use my saves. Was it a cheat? Yeah, but I, but, I mean, it's, it's based on the, capabilities of the hardware at the time we wouldn't get away with that now can you imagine an xbox 
or an Xbox or PS5 game needing well, two discs. Code Veronica did exactly well, the same thing back in 2000 and whatever that was. Like, it's, I mean, it's still technically does it with the re-releases too. But um, I didn't know Dead Space was actually more than one disc on the Xbox because no, I two and three on PC and on PS3 is only one disc. Yeah. Yep. Blu-ray. That means that more storage. Xbox. It got the unfortunate short end of the stick. It was it was that sort of time in like development of all that sort of stuff. It was all over the place. So. Yeah. Uh. So then, I... um... Go ahead. No, oh, sorry. I was like, but then if you had like the the Xbox One patch, it's you put in one disc and it works for the entire thing instead of putting in both, which is really nice. Oh, I'm not fussed then because I go through hardcore mode with a hand cannon. I mean, it's no difficulty at all, but it's just a little bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on, Ren. Uh, I was gonna say, what do you guys think of the stipulations for Isaac talking in this game? And now I'm gonna read them for the audience. Uh, number one is Isaac will primarily only speak when spoken to, and number two is Isaac will sometimes speak in a situation where it will feel weird if he remains silent. This, this, this is a preemptive strike, is what this is. It's, it's a. Uh... It's a, right, we're going to have a guy talk who didn't talk, and people are going to moan that he's going to talk, so we're going to say that we're limiting how much he's going to talk to try and remediate the situation before it even occurs. That's exactly mm. what that is. Mm. And it's nothing more. Pretty really much. Like, like that. But, like... That's, that's the truth. It's I'm just, I, I, People listening, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I want to spin it all on that and say it's always really cool. That's literally what it is. It's basically politics. <laughs> right in front of you. Um, it's, it's ugly, but that's exactly what it is. I mean, now, for those who have played, like, we can finally have Isaac reacting to certain deaths that happen in the game. So just like, Ugh! time to fight now. I'm just, I'm just imagining chapter one when Chen and the other guy gets obliterated in the uh, uh, processing area, you know, where they've just arrived. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I can't I just, wait for that. Just Isaac's like, what the fuck? He's yeah, got I mean, something talk. that I sort of quietly noted that there are times where you, especially nowadays, like there's so much dialogue and conversation and little bits here and there that it's, it's weird when you go back and you don't hear that. It does feel alien. So, but then know, if, but... that's the art style of it, if you think about it. It was, He's... it was, but that was the art style 13 years ago. It's, it's not 2008 anymore. Like it's 2021. You have to, you have to change with the times and that's what it's doing. It's giving the mm. scope to do so, but try not to feel compromising and overbearing. He has to talk basically... during like Kendra's death and Hammond's. There's, there's no way it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially Hammond, Paul Hammond. Mm. Hammond think... is... Sorry, go, go on. on. No, no, no you, you go ahead. Okay. Um, I mean, I would say, like, Hammond, <laughs> Hammond is just, he was one of my favorite characters, like, personally. Like, I really enjoyed Hammond, like, especially the actor behind him is great, too. But just, like, he's a soldier, and he's like, you know what? Fuck the chain of command. We need to get the fuck off this ship. I'm like, you know what? I like you. I hope you don't die. Two chapters later, Ooh. shit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the way it's got to be, unfortunately. Also, yeah, I think... Just... Brendan, you're saying something, and you can go after him, uh, Spartan. No, I was saying like, uh, just keep things familiar while also changing it up. Familiarity is one thing to keep people invested. That's all. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I agree. I think in regards to when, what they said about when Isaac would be speaking, I think like um, Shadow said, it's like look, it's political, but it's also sort of um, so it doesn't break the immersion. Because as as much as I love Gunnar Wright, I think he's I think it's brilliant that he's back because, in my opinion, he carried Dead Space Three um, with his performance. Um, I, I I don't want the immersion to go to be lost in such a scary looking game from pre alpha. So I can't imagine what it would look like full release. Yeah. I don't want him talking all the time. And he, he won't. I mean, if they're yeah. that intent on trying to 
recreate kind of the, the the ambience and the feeling of being in the issue where it being as desolated. You don't want your lead guy talking monologues. That's why you had no. the log system to do the talking for him. Mm -hmm. That was the entire point of the whole idea. You know, it's like basically reading diaries, just they're being read to you in audio form. Yeah. You know, um, and it's great that um, Isaac decided to renew his Audible license before he went on the Ishimura, and he should do that more often in video games. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's, that's what it is. It's just preempting because they have the benefit of having seen a lot of remakes of a lot of games before them, and pretty much every time there's a derive as a, as a derivative from the norm of what originally happened. There's a section that argue and complain and bitch, and this is the attempt to deal with that before it ever happens. But yeah. people will still be some people that will be that will still be unhappy. That's the way it's yeah. going to be. But it's not a big deal, kids. Yeah, that's crazy I mean... because the main thing people complained about was uh and in another game of course uh re2 when they said the characters were talking too much they clearly said that isaac will barely be talking in sections that are outside of like cutscenes or interactions yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's but the issue there's no words here and there that's gonna probably be largely it because they don't want that much more yeah. So like with the issue though with like RE2 though, for example, is that they often repeat the same dialogue pretty often. Even if like they say say um they've seen a zombie before, right? They will repeat certain dialogues from the first time they experience a zombie, right? So like yeah. the dialogue gets repetitive more so than them talking too much. Yeah. So like thankfully though, Despite doesn't necessarily do that unless you do something that's context sensitive, like yeah. stomping a necromorph then and that's way too. Isaac will go ham and start cursing up the moon. Yeah. That's different Nothing. versus no dialogue tree. I mean, they still might say the same thing, so they're going to generalize it and say this. I personally think that if it's like, if it makes sense where you're going around and obviously he's grunting or whatever uh, while fighting creatures or just saying like some curse words, then I'm totally fine with that. In a realistic situation, I always think someone's going to say, holy shit, what is this? What do I do? They're going to freak out. I, I never understood this complaint that much. Uh, but I do get it where it's like, you experience this like halfway in the game. You should already know what to expect, what these creatures look like, what to prepare for. Uh, and the interaction. Unless it's a new creature, you know? That, yeah. that would make sense. If it's yeah. new interactions each time, then I, yeah, freak out would be justified. But the issue is like the repetitiveness of it. Yeah, right, just don't make it repetitive. Yeah, if you see the same necromorph like fifty times, and clearly, you know, no sell that. Yeah. But like, if like a necromorph pops out of nowhere, he'd be like, "Ah, oh, fuck," and shit like that. Like, I'm fine with that. I, I've been yeah, totally I'm fine, fine with, with that. that. Yeah, and it's like, natural. It's, 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 it surprises it's him. How it's how people normally react to that sort of situation. It's like mm -hmm. every time I'm not, I'm not called Black Rock, I like I'm in utter astonishment. It's exactly <laughs> the same principle. <laughs> what? <laughs> I knew that would be a reference, like one way or the other. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, um... the the only thing I think uh, before I let you go, Austin, there's something we need to bring up is the zero G. They kind of oh, mentioned yes. how that was like tweaked to be yes. Death Space Two. Uh, Thank we God. Saw it. Yeah, what do you guys think of that? It looks fine to me. I, I like it. It's not the point. Go on. Yeah, I mean, I sort of mentioned before, it was a quality of life change that was introduced because the original system, like, it did the job, but it didn't really enough. Um, and you had to make the change because it was just better. Um, and why wouldn't you bring that to the remake? Because it's familiar. You know and people appreciate that it's better than what was originally there. I like I, I like the jumping thing. Like I didn't get hugely disorientated by it. I actually found it was getting more disorientated on the boosters I tended to find, but like mm. it's it's just a superior system and what you'd be stupid not to bring it into uh you know and retrofit it back into the first game where you can easily do that. Mm -hmm. And you know something interesting though, uh seeing a few um takes saying like they should not change the um the the gravity sections to what they were in two and three because uh, it will break the immersion of what they are, are original. I'm like okay, fine, it's immersion though, and this thing's not working. Those things didn't work, immersive or not. So yeah. like I think it's for the better that they change it. And, I mean you're not safe completely with the with the thrusters, you can still get like attacked yeah. anywhere. Exactly. So it, or it hazards. It, yeah, so if if it's like being done like this, it's even more dangerous being out there 24-7 with no iframes of the sort and things coming after you. 
Yeah. But um, one of the things they did note is that with the with the system from Dead Space 2 being in this one, you can explore places of the ship that are broken that you can never explore before to find either hidden items or audio logs. I was like, so we can now explore parts of the level that were never even accessed or shown in the first game. That blew I mean, my mind. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, you've it got makes a, sense. You've, yeah. Got, you've got a whole new way of transporting yourself, so it makes sense. It, it's a cute way of kind of adding little extra bits and pieces here and there to give yourself a more rounded sort of ship. You know, yeah. you're not you're not actually implementing all that much new content, but it feels like it's a lot more than what it is. It's it's a pretty shrewd move. Yeah, it's uh, it's really cool. Like I can now finally explore more bits of the Ishimura. It's dope. Yeah. Yeah, and great. Everyone wants to do that, you know? Like, at times it felt like there was more to be explored, um, but obviously you couldn't. And, and I'm not everyone was a fan of, like, the, the having some return visits, but, like, to me, it was never a big problem. But I'm sure they'll have plenty of things. They'll have to remodel some of the rooms that are zero G uh, because some of them aren't necessarily going to work. I think of, like, the, the centrifuge room. Like, I don't yeah. see you can work that in its current state with, like, the boosters. So you'd have to refit how that room works, for example um but like you know this is all fairly easy enough stuff to sort out and i'm sure a lot of it's already been looked out already yeah austin but, um... you, you wanted to say something like bring up a topic oh that was uh that was the topic i was gonna bring up was about the exploration oh okay fair enough so i sort of segued yeah. into that Yep, pretty much. Uh, is there anything else that we're missing? There, there is one that comes to mind um, mm -hmm. that the developers uh, seem to have learned a lesson from Dead Space P three that people don't like to pay extra for their content. Yeah. Oh god. So, uh, I mean, like sessions. this was this was a no brainer, and it's like it's it's more of a relief that that's going to be the case rather than like praise and joy because it was just badly implemented. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk about the um, resource thing, but, right? The the yeah, and shit. You know, I actually have a hot ticket about that, believe it or not. It was actually, I can't believe I'm saying this, about an EA game, by the way. It was actually not a big deal. Why? For one, you can actually get resources in the game to actually get free resources mm -hmm. you know, of it itself. So you actually don't need to pay for mm -hmm. shit. I can tell you that right now. Play the game twice. I didn't pay for anything. So, like, it was legit not a big deal. You have to be lazy as fuck to actually pay for that stuff. Yeah. People, yeah, but that people will do that, and when it's it, it's just it has to be an, all it has to be is an option for it to be picked up on. Like right. even if it's not heavily used or if it's like kind of ridiculous, it's there, and that's all it has to be. And uh. there again, just like there's gonna be a section of people who are like, oh, it's gonna be exactly like this and this way and that way. There's gonna be a section of people who are obviously still a little bit kind of mindful of that experience. So like, <laughs> you know, one thing oh, I'm surprised. You know, one thing I'm surprised they didn't bring up is the notion mm -hmm. of the DLC suits. Like, are they just in the game now, or...? Well, like... I guess it's just want to tell about that yet. Yeah, yeah that's, that's we'll kind of get... a... All we'll the get to that. All the questions they were answering, that's the one question I was wondering, because I'm like, that's kind of downloadable content, mm -hmm. so is it going to be still DLC, or is it going to be in the game now? We don't know. Well, I tell you this though, expect DLC because um, oh, every absolutely. you had a form of downloadable content, macros are not, so expect it. I <laughs> yeah. had to make a pun. I reckon what they might try and do is kind of work it into the main game experience. I think they're going to want to try because they've got all this expanded lore to work with now. Is they're going to try and have something more original as an as like an expansion DLC because they have got the scope to do that now. I think it'd be easy to just do what you've got already but i think there's a there's a clear opportunity to kind of include something extra that's totally original but still ties into the themes of the game in the series um i don't know what that is exactly because like my mind's not quite there right now but i'm sure it exists it just has to right you know with everything's mm -hmm. gone on the unitologist and all that sort of stuff like there, there's got to be some scope to work in something original any yeah there has to be I mean, possible ties to like extraction would be really cool. I, I think they said that like the the mangas, the comics, the, the books. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. You know what you I mean. All that stuff. Yeah, exactly. I mean, why not try and implement some of that stuff, even in just some sort of small fashion? You know, why? Why not? Go for it. Yeah, like a, 
the comics, like all, all that stuff, uh, the movies, that's going to be supposedly implemented. Supposedly. We got to see how it is, yeah. though. Yeah. I mean, funny enough, I have the entire uh, graphic novel, which is nice. I, I got that as the special edition. I don't think I ever read it, but the last thing I think they said was Nicole is going to have, like, expansive lore? No? Yeah, because um, in Extraction, she was in Extraction as a side character and provided some, like, little cool little details about the situation, like, yeah. many hours before even Isaac appeared. It was, yeah, really, it was you, actually really cool. Yeah, you literally see her up to the point where she commits suicide. Really? Much, no. More yeah, than much, that. Yeah. that was my reading of the situation. Um, Actually, I think you actually see a video when you're playing and the characters witness it in extraction. I'm yeah, like, the character's yeah. trying to tell her to stop or whatever, right? Because she was recording yeah. messages and they um trying to mm-hmm. tell her to don't do it, you know, you yeah. know all, all this like... uh, extra stuff. And then, mm-hmm. unfortunately, she did. So, yeah. Yeah. You got more and... context behind the situation. Yeah. Like, if they, actually, if they actually did, like, a modernized take of extraction, it would be really cool. Like, with McNeil, Gay Weller, uh, Liz, all of them. It'd be really cool. You know, that'd be absolutely nuts if they show the suicide video at the end of the sort of game and Isaac sees it and then there's the jump scare uh, <laughs> but I, I don't know that that might be like a little bit on the nose and people might be like oh, I don't want this change either so you know yeah. it's whatever I, was like, I think it was fun the way it was in the original game so they just honestly recreate the experience but maybe actually have Isaac talk Cause no, he showed that emotion though. But imagine you no, know, him saying something about it. No, I think that would be a nice touch. Yeah, him talking yeah. to Nicole, but ultimately us, the fans, we know that she's really not actually there. I mean, the chapter spell it out for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, Nicole really is dead. Mm-hmm. I want Oops, that to come back too. That. Like, please. Oh, they, they, they have to keep that. There's no way. Yeah, they they will have that. something. I mean, chapter they might. Eight. They what they might do, they might try and be cute and maybe rename some chapters and yeah. like um and play around with what it actually says now. I mean, I think that'd be the most cute. Like we had Nick, Nicholas we had, is dead. We had, Nicole, we had Nicole is dead. Then we had um the third one was the mo- the brother moons are awake or something like that. The one from the strap was Warren lies. Yep, that that was the one. I don't think two had anything like that, right? No, it's no, just they only did shit. the first game. It was just chapter it. one, two, three, etc. Yeah, oh, which was a shame. And I think Dead Space Three Awakened was R.I.P. Mm-hmm. <laughs> rip. Yep. Yep. It was. It was rip. Oh, so I think uh, unless we have anything else to bring up, that might be it. Mm-hmm. Well, less. I mean, like, I'm, I'm doing my best not to feel like overly negative. I, I still think the game will be fairly good. It's just, again, I think, but people want it to be good, and they're, you know, they've been people wanting to will this into existence for like a decade, basically. So once oh, anything yeah. comes out, it's like it's very easy to just completely lose your mind. But um, you know, we need to see more before I think people have much license to be losing their mind for it, but I think it should look great. I imagine it will play pretty well. There's probably a chance to play around with, with the plots and kind of expand things out a bit. I think it'll be a solid title. It's just like, you know, let's let's see something a little bit more meaningful rather than some concept arts and like a freaking uh, blue screen backstage and some testing areas, you know, just have a little bit of patience, I guess. Uh, yeah, so, but at the same time, though, I think it's, Okay, I think that's a tad bit a little harsh because you know, no, they're at least being honest about it. You know, yeah, they they tell us straight up that it's not done yet. So just yeah, years it's, yeah, Which like, like awesome. it's it's a little unusual to see uh, talking and footage and depth from so early into the process, uh, which is you know appreciated, and I'm glad that they're doing that, and I think they probably feel a compulsion to do so uh, because obviously the the backgrounds are kind of you know the game or whatever else. Um, but yeah, it's like I'll see kind of like what next comes out, and I'll probably have a more informed judgment. For now, it's like a this should be pretty good, but we we got a way to go. I would assume maybe a trailer for um game awards would be like the best bet. Mm. They'll they'll get some sort of more uh 
yeah i mean they'll, they'll, they'll start they'll kind of leak more bits and pieces out but like we're not going to see this game come out for a little while so they've got plenty of time to play around and maybe they'll have a bit of fun maybe they'll have like uh start spreading some messages and bits and pieces like in the old <laughs> system, uh, yes in, in amongst trailers or god knows what else like they, they've got they got room to play around and, and i think that's something they want to do you know? your mom have, have your mom hates that space come on bring it back <laughs> You know, if I show my mom this way, she'd probably hate it too. Ah, there you go. That's one. If my mom, if I show my mom this way, she'd be like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> that would be her exact reaction. She's like, oh my god, what the fuck? And then my dad's like, this is the dead space I remember. I don't blame him. Because me and my dad bought it on launch. I was seven. He was 28. <laughs> we had a blast. It was one of our favorite games to play. He never played Dead Space 2. He just never had the time or got around to it. When I was the one who was like, yeah, I'm just going to grind out the rest of 2 and 3. The rest of the tweets that I see, this is stuff that they cover in the last podcast that we did. So I'm not going to mm-hmm. touch over, like, you know, the fact that everything's seamless, no loading screens. Like, that's prior information that we already knew. Yeah, and this is a yeah. given nowadays. Like, it's kind of more and more becoming the norm. And again, like, there are other games of the genre that have already been sort of doing that, at least to some kind of extent. So I think uh, it makes sense for them to do so. How exactly they're going to, it's not going to be like one big map, like, there's going to be loading. It's just going to be cleverly mm-hmm. hidden. That's how you do it nowadays. Yeah. So. But um, yeah, I think it's, it's a nice idea. However, they're going to do it in the trains, you know, the, the trips around. We'll see how they go. Uh, yeah. Did someone say that they think the train is going to be like cut? Mm, I awesome. don't believe going from what I just watched like an hour ago. I wouldn't even I suggest see. that being a thing. I mean, if they cut uh, the asteroid shit, then I'd be happy. I mean, if, if they would make the trains a thing, it would be like almost like an interactive cutscene, kind of like how Ooh. God of War progresses sometimes. The yeah. problem you have is if you don't have the train, then what do you have? Uh, that is true. You, a card? You, you got to, okay. <laughs> and because, if you can have a car, why not just have the train? Yeah, the devil's advocate is basically if the train was to mask the loading screens and you're making everything seamless with no loading screens, then what is the point exactly of having it well, in the first place? I mean, that's, that's well, fast traveling. Well, mm, I don't oh, think absolutely. that's going to necessarily... I, I'd be shocked if that would work. And the thing is, if you're going to fast travel, like that's so much you're having to load then anyway to put your straight on the system, that's probably not good for it. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Mm. Have the tra- you know, the tra- What you'll do is you'll have the train, you'll have your like little talking conversation in the train and bits and pieces, maybe something you can play around with, something, whatever else. And, like, it, so what if it masks a loading screen? Like, that's the whole point of it. Like, if it is, mm-hmm. we've been doing this for years. Like, you, you have these little small areas that, you know, like, you can notice, like, you're sprinting through them at a great speed. Suddenly, frames go a bit chunky. Resident Evil Village was a great example. There's lots of little bits like this where if you sprint through a great knot, like, having just gone into the game, like, it can be a little bit chunky. So, especially yeah. on PS4. Uh, especially oh. on the consoles. Yeah, especially on the consoles. So, like, so what if it is? Like, who. Who honestly cares? I think yeah. this is going to be because here's the thing. This is something they self-impose onto themselves. So naturally, because they did it, it's going to be questioned. And this is why it's brought up in the first place. Because like, okay, you said seamless loading. Well, we're gonna see if your words are true. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But seamless seamless loading does have a couple of like different connotations like yeah. that you know it can have you know seamless loading can be like the whole map is one giant thing or seamless loading can be it exists it's just you can't necessarily see it we've hidden it craftily but it's ongoing the whole time that's how they all gotta work games do it you know exactly. there's no levels it's just, it's just all so seamless you, do it. You, you can't have an entire issue with a ship fully rent like rendered to traverse any one point what would be the point of that like that would be impressive though i'm not gonna lie yeah. It would be impressive. It would also be incredibly stupid. Be but stressful impressive. on the system itself. Yeah, too. I mean, it's just like that. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. So. Yeah, but um, it's one wait thing and see to note, for me. It's wait and see. Yeah. Uh, one thing to note though is um, they did not confirm or deny a PC release. Just saying. 
it's coming. I, mean, I, thought, I thought it was already it, confirmed. It, for yeah, it, it, it's coming, like, for sure. I'd be astonished if it didn't happen. Um, yeah, I thought it was already confirmed for PC. What the hell? Oh, no, it's only on no, consoles right now? It says PS5 and Xbox Series X only to push it's, heavily on improvements. It's coming to Origin. We, we know it's coming. Yeah, now, it's going to be on Steam because um they're releasing the games back on Steam, so that's, that's it's fine. It's going to be on something because really? there's, so much, there's, so much yeah. in, there's so much processing power in modern PCs. I'm saying stupid to ignore that. If we saw the graphics were from the consoles, can you imagine what it would look like on PC? Like RTX, baby. I mean, we'll see. The PC has to probably be like a bulky motherfucker to run something like that. Yeah, it I mean, happen. like, it's it's so early, it's not going to be, like, a console build, like, this early into development. It's all one thing. Like, it's not been, yeah. like, uh, like, specialized into a particular form, but it's all one thing currently, so yeah. I wouldn't get too carried away. But, um, I think that's about it. I don't really have any much else to say. Yeah. Top of my head. I think we cover, like, everything i think that's yes. like everything most stuff was like a recap but the new information i think we covered so i think we could do outros now yep all no, right we were live. yeah <laughs> yeah we were we were recording the whole time <laughs> For the entire time all right so ak austin where can we find you all right, you can find me on Twitter under the same Twitter handle, underscore zero one. I'm also on Twitch with AK Austin underscore zero one. And I'm also on YouTube as AK Austin. And it's been fun to be here, and I'll see you guys later. All right. Uh, Spartan Wright, where can we find you? Uh, unfortunately, just on here. I don't really have many socials apart from this one, I'm afraid. Oh, that That's is a dark totally, shame. That's totally fine. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm boring like that. Yeah, it's fine. It better be born than, you know, eccentric, I guess. I don't know. Fuck it. Let's go. All right. Brandon, where can we find you? You can find me on Twitter at Ren underscore operative. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's my identity right. thieving over here. All right. Give your plug, sir. Why hey, are you man. trolling? No, I'm hey. talking about Brandon. He just died for some reason. <laughs> He's gone. I hate he got caught by the FBI. I hate this guy. I hate this oh guy. my god, he just laughed too. You son of a bitch. I see you. You in can the find me at Black uh, Shadow 993 on Twitter and Black underscore Ooh. Shadow underscore 993 on Twitch. And yourself. All right. No. Nice. Brandon, do your outro. I don't want. Okay, fine. You find me on Twitter at Mortal Brandle. You find me on Twitch at Sir Brandle. You, you find me here annoying the fuck out of Renegade every day. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> And you find me also annoying Black Rock Shadow here. <laughs> okay. See, this is why I got it in first. I knew it was come incoming, so I already yes. got it. Yes. I mean, you said it first, though, so I might as well finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was yeah. going to give you off day today, Ben, but no. You had to escape me. I <laughs> highly doubt this. All right. All right. <laughs> so you can find me on Twitter at rentoperative underscore. You can find me on YouTube at Renegade Operative. Uh, I uploaded a review on Silent Hill 1. Go check it out, and I'll be uploading this tomorrow. And that's about it. Yeah. A fun little discussion on the Death Space developer update. If they show anything else pertinent, I, I'm, I'm assuming that maybe Game Wars they might, but I think a solid build might not come to like next year's E3. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with this. So you guys will see us then, unless they show some more cool alpha footage, and we'll be checking that out. Until then, this is the IS. We're signing out, and we'll see you guys next time. Later. Maybe. Dead Space is back, baby! Yeah, there you go. Mm, a live orbit.